Hi everybody, you're here at Elevated Living with Z, and um, welcome if you're a new guest or welcome back if you're a returning guest. Today what we will be doing is a, let me see if I can get it for you guys, a nice um, card reading, a fairy oracle card reading um, message, and I also included a bonus um, Love Whispers card uh, message because I felt like that's what resonated. Um, I will also be doing a small little quick saging in Palo Santo, some noise therapy for all of us, a little sound therapy, um, just to raise the vibration. So it'll be like a mini pickup and lift and also a message. And um, I'll be doing it from the table. Um, you guys will actually see me this time. Um, so I might just take some pictures of the cards. I already shuffled and drew, so you guys don't need to worry about that. Um, and, um, and I will just get right into the, the reading once I sit down on the little table there. Um, but first I just want to tell you guys, for my supporters, those of you who bought bracelets, those of you who have been setting up sessions, those of you who've just been with me from the beginning and supported this channel, thank you so much for all the love and support. I love you guys so much. Even if just one of you work with me like this, it would still be epic. But the fact that all of you do and just support me the way that you do is just life. Um, and other than that, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if this is something that you like and want to subscribe to. And for all your favorite YouTubers, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps us um, get on that YouTube algorithm and it helps more people like you get to know more of people like us that do what we do. So um, that said, um, I think that's it, you guys. And um, now let's get right into this reading. I love you guys. All right, guys, like I said, oof, and I'm over here. Mm, I'm going to connect with us really quickly. Mm. Mm. All right. And the first thing I really wanted to do is make a little noise therapy, little raise the vibration of the session. I hope you guys can hear my bird, and I hope it doesn't bother you guys. Just feel that energy go through your body. Mm. Mm. Feeling good about that. You know, little things we gotta do sometimes, you guys, just to really. Mm. I don't feel good. I mean, I feel good all the time, but I mean, just to feel connected and like the vibration to be raised and stuff is really important that whatever it is for you, for me, um, noise therapy, you know, um, I, I know that has a name and I can't remember it right now, but, um, you know, for me, it's like, I, I call it noise therapy. So that's what we're going to call it in this video. <laughs> um, I'm sure when I get the title, I'll give it the right name. Um, but sage, you know, using sage to clear the energy is another huge um, spiritual tool for me. And um, that really just helps me feel better. And um, everybody can use whatever they want. I know um, at the, when I was early on in my healing, you know, I used to um, have this thing for lighting. Um, they used to say uh, salt and alcohol. Like you would put um, a pile of you know, really high quality salts, and um, you'd put it uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol on it, and you would light it, and um, it would suck up all the energy and negative energy from the room, and I used to salt a lot, but now I just find that um, it's noise therapy, you know, saging, and this Palo Santo is everything I need to feel better, to be in a positive state of mind to feel grounded and connected well enough for that <laughs> all right guys so i said i already shuffled we were using the fairy tarot cards um by um doreen virtue and um i think radley valentine and um the very first card that came through in our message was the five of summer and um you know <sighs> 
something about just the way that she's looking at life. It's like she knows everything's okay. She's looking back like, darn, this has been tough, but I got this. You know, um, and she says, trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself. See, she's walking away from something. Remove yourself from negative emotions of others and focusing on that which frightens or worries you. So right now, you know, <clears throat> what this card tells me is that you got to trust that everything's going to be okay. That everything going on right now in your life and in this moment is happening for a reason, for a good reason. It's happening to you. I'm mean, happening for you and not to you. Um, and I really like that because that's, you know, a good feeling. Because to me, I even see her walking from a dark place to a much lighter area. And, you know, she's pushing back anything that no longer serves her. So that's great. And um, removing yourself from the negative emotions of others. You know, some somebody's got to resonate with this because it's like a lot of us go around life not knowing the difference between where we begin and and others where others begin and we end or we begin and others end and things like that like we walk into our day and we're like you know everything's great and you walk into an office or store and all of a sudden everything doesn't feel so great and you're like man i'm in a bad mood all of a sudden i don't want to be nice and and you think it's you you think oh i'm depressed i'm this no 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 you're none of that you're perfect. You're in harmony, but you haven't learned yet how to protect yourself and push away those emotions of others. Know where you end and others begin so that you can protect yourself, you know, from adopting those, you know, feelings of other people. And then, um, and for some of us, this got to resonate. A lot of us are over worrying about what's happening in our lives right now. We are over stressed on, you know, like the what is, and, and we're very, and much in fear and that is definitely going to block us from having everything that we deserve and everything we need to have so um that was in that very first card my loves <clears throat> so the second card second message that came through from the fairies the four of autumn manage your resources wisely Achieve a balance in how you spend and save money. Help out those who are less fortunate. So, you know, um, for some of us, <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, excuse me. For some of us, it's been very hard for us to manage our money wisely. A lot of us, it's because we are so stressed out about what's going on. I feel like that first message that came through, that worry, that focus on what we shouldn't be focusing on, really put us in a bind, you know, in the sense that, you know, we are maybe spending to feel better, not really focusing too much on putting money aside for a harder time or for an investment or for a future. And that this card is asking us to just be very, very careful about how we're using our resources and to just take a look at why we're using our resources for me. Um, another thing, you know, um, a lot of us are really so scared right now with everything going on around us that we are afraid to give what we have, even if it's a little bit because we think our resources are limited. But mentalities like that only create more of limited resources. And it's that mentality that everything's gonna be okay. That Because it says help out those that are less fortunate. I'm gonna go further and say, not only you need to help out those that are less fortunate, but in doing so, you will be helping yourself. Opening up that channel, that um, gateway that allows for coming through, for abundance to come in your way. Not because you give, that's why you get, but because you are releasing yourself of that thought of scarcity, um, that feeling of lack. So, um, and for me, the picture also, you know, <clears throat> it depicts like a very, it's like, mm, I don't want to spend my money. I don't want to give my money away. I need to hold on to everything I have. It's a very, 
scary mentality and um this may not resonate with everybody only a part of it will or some of it will or you might be feeling like you're dealing with somebody that is but it's definitely the energy that i got here and um and really just watch how you spend your money because um you know right now in life is a really good time to invest and a really good time to save you know um and you know we a lot of uncertainty is around us so that card is a good card for anything and any time. Whew. Now the next one. The Five of Winner. Hmm. This is such a strong and powerful card. Before I could even breathe, I see, you know, the walking away of what no longer serves. The change of path. The turning the back on the things that you don't need to be dealing with right now. So here, I'm, I'm pretty, here's the word. Walk away from dishonest associations. Realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness. Some things, something that's not worth the effort. Like I said, this is so, so magical to me because, you know, right now, um, this resonate, the whole thing is resonating with me very well, but but you know, for, for some of us, you know, it's if we know it's time to walk away from friends that are bringing us down, from um, relatives that are bringing us down, from job places that are bringing us down. You know, it's time to just turn around from things that, you know, do not bring us joy and happiness overall. But right now, it's a, this, this card calls for us to cut the cords with those that we know are dishonest and not good for us. You know, it's time that, it, you know, we, we're given this authority through this card to cut the cord with those things, those people that have lied to us, that haven't been who they said they were going to be, you know. This is power. And then, you know, the next part of the card is um, realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness. So maybe, you know, you started a job or a career or, you know, you moved into somewhere and you're, you know, you started hanging out with certain type of people and, you know, you realize this isn't for me. This is a great time to cut those cords too. This is a card of authority to say, you know what, you're right in feeling something inside of you that just isn't right about these people or isn't right about this place. And you know what, cut the cords, turn Turn around. Your happiness is more important. Money. Your happiness is more important than status. Your happiness is more important than anything that could be, you know, in any like material thing that you could be trying to gain. You know, your happiness is everything. So um, protect it. And, um, oh, and, you know, and for some of us, we may be putting so much effort into this other, like maybe making money um, in, in a big, large way or a relationship that's just not working out at all. And, um, and it's just really this card is just confirmation that that thing is just not worth the effort, you know, and it's okay to let go. It's okay to not be okay with it. You know what I mean? And um, here you go, you guys. And um, I just at the very end when I was drawing, I just felt like there was one more card that I wanted to pull. And I was really glad I did. Um, what came out is the Three of Winter. And um, and right away, um, you know, the young lady, she's got, you know, multiple tools, you know, to share with, you know. And what I see is like she, there's a bear and there's a man, you know, and they're in the middle of, of you know, a beautiful winter. And she's sharing her resources. So right away, you know, um, I got the sense of love and community and um, working together, you know, with nature and, you know, earth and, you know, people, you know. You guys, my kitty is all over me. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, and the card says, reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from this situation. God, this is beautiful. Sadness that will heal in time. So I didn't even see that. I didn't even relate the coldness to sadness. But definitely I see that now. Is that a lot of us are, and now I'm feeling it, that we're experiencing a lot of loss. We're in a time, if you're watching this video real time, in, in real time we're in a place in the world where we're experiencing a lot of loss and death and change. And um, if you're catching it in your life, you're probably 
resonating with this video because you're experiencing some type of loss and sadness and death in the situation that you're going through might be really hard for you to understand but um but you know you need to you know really reach out to others a community of people that love and support you that are going to give you good energy that are going to send positive vibes um you know um and and this card also reminds you that no matter how down you feel you will be lifted up you will grow from this situation you are going to blossom and flourish and be a part of and be as strong as ever before if not stronger but you are going through something right now and you need love and support from others um and really you know um it's very hard as human beings for some reason to reach out for help it's almost like we're afraid that it's a sign of weakness we can't do that we need to be here to help each other out there's no weakness in in asking for a helping hand you know and if you are uncomfortable by asking a helping hand from humanity i i ask you and encourage you and and push you to ask for assistance from your higher self from source energy from the angels, the universe, from God, you know, whatever you define God to be for you, not the, the clinical or described, but whatever that feeling and energy is to you and ask for help. Ask to put people in your life that are going to support you. Ask to be put in places that you can. No question is too small. No, no, you know, thing that you want is too little or too dumb for our higher you know, self and, and our support, higher um, celestial support system to answer to. Oh man, I tell you that. I, this has been the message for me over and over and over again, you guys. And now I had to pull a bonus from the Whispers of Love deck. This is by, I think, Josephine Wall, the artwork. And the deck is by Angela Hartfield. Now, this here. I don't know why I felt resonated to do it, but it's a spend quality time together. Listen and talk to each other. And for me, you know, um, I read the, the, the excerpt before we started to get a feeling for what it was because I'm not as familiar with this deck. And um, it talked about being in love, but the feeling that I got when I read the card, if you're in love and, and you feel like this is about you and your relationship, it, the actual card calls for you to look at your partner to compliment your partner to give love to your partner to share and shower them with everything that you can because it can make or break a relationship and um, it says that these are two elementals you know uniting and um and that they just and that they they are the representation of love and friendship and i thought that was beautiful okay i absolutely agree with that if that resonates with you but when I pulled the card, what I felt was right away, like this feeling of being showered by the moon, the stars, the earth's trees. Like I said, with when the elementals came together, to me that said that, you know, you are, you, you need to combine yourself with the energies of those around you. You need to find love and friendship and support in those things in those circles that you can around you that right now it's time to connect to earth to connect to sun energy to connect to moon energy and really and spend quality time together really get close to the people that you love really focus on the energy of those that do support you that do love you look the people that you love in the eyes do not ignore them do not be short-winded with them or, or un you know like you know quick you know, with them when they're talking, like in a hurry, stop and listen to people, you know, and give them that energy. So you, you know, practice that and receive, you know, you'll see yourself receiving it in return. You know, it's a time to change the way that things are in this world. And, um, and I love it, you guys. So this was our message and, um, this was our card, um, reading. Um, if you're catching it, at a specific time this is the month of august and um, we are in 2020 but if you're just feeling it to feel it and you caught it whenever you caught it and this resonates for you then this is a good you know message 
you know, for any time. So the date doesn't matter. I just wanted to, you know, say that. And, um, you know, I'm just really grateful to be a part of this movement. Um, if you stuck out to the end, thank you so, so much. If you liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like. You know, we had a few hiccups, but you know what? That's life, and that's what the vid, you know, that's what these videos are all about. It's living life together in our highest possible vibration. So now I'm going to go make you guys one of those raw Reiki sessions. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.